Hello, this is Lightloaf9, and I'm going to teach you guys how to use a brush. Uh, not, not any brush, though. A marker! Is this the marker? Yeah, this is the marker. Okay. As you can see, the marker is very hard to use, because, well, just, just why would you ever want to use this? Just look at this. <laughs> Every time you go over another line with the marker, it gets darker. And that is very annoying. Very, very annoying. Also, I'm sorry if my voice is all weird today. It's because I was, I was doing, uh, I was doing this, this voice. Let me see if I can, I can replicate it. Unbelievable! I cannot, I cannot do, do that voice. Unbelievable! I can't, I'll die. <laughs> But it was something similar-ish to that, and uh, I, I was doing it for a long time, a couple days ago, and my voice is just dead. My throat hurts, and I'm dying. But I'm gonna still do this video because I haven't done a video in a while, and I I wanted to show. Well, actually, that's a lie. I did. I just did a speed paint, but <laughs> still, I want to show you guys how to do something with the marker that I thought was pretty cool, and uh, I kind of wanted to put it into tips and tricks with MS Paint but I completely forgot about it and or I decided that wasn't important I don't know it was either one or the other <sighs> but today is the day that I'm gonna show you how to make this ugly stupid brush sorry if you like the marker I don't <laughs> into uh, something useful so here we have a picture that I used uh, that I used the marker on you can't really notice it right now. You're like, what were you talking about, lightning? You didn't use the marker on that. Look at that. That's obviously paint. Just paint. Right? Regular. Well, not paint, but you know what I mean. The pencil. That's just the pencil tool. What are you talking about, lightning? You didn't use a single brush in there. Well, that's a lie, because <laughs> I used the marker. And I'll show you what I did. See, this little bar, this little line of shadow here. That is where the marker came in. Uh, I did not do this using the pencil tool. Well, I did use the pencil tool a bit, but most of it was just with the marker. So I took a color, right, right? I made it a little, like a dark brown or whatever, and I went over it like that. See where I'm going with? It gives you a nice little, a little, uh, I don't know what to call that, a hue? a different variation of the color that you're using so you can you know take that color that the marker creates and change your picture entirely and that's what I do and that is all that I needed to say actually <laughs> wow I thought that was gonna take me a long time maybe this is why I didn't put it in tips and tricks with them as paint maybe because it was so simple to explain but Whatever, short video today. Most of that was me complaining about my throat hurting. And I didn't even have to talk that long. So, this has been Light Wolf 9, teaching you about the marker tool. About a cool little thing that you could use. You, you can use this for, like, underwater scenes. You know, if you want to make if you want to make it underwater, make it blue. Well, maybe not blue, but, you know, like a turquoise. There, he's underwater. You just steal the color, and then you color in the parts that were like that, so you do the same for, for, you know, the black and everything. You just steal the color and make sure to keep the color that you used first, this color, because you're going to have to use the marker several times to get all the colors. And you can, of course, steal the color and then erase the marker lines, because sometimes the marker makes, makes mistakes. It'll look weird sometimes. You'll see what I mean if you keep the marker there. Oh, uh, yeah, this is what I mean. If you want to replace the color with something else, you get these little dots. That's what I mean. There you go. I couldn't remember what I was thinking about. So, just be warned if you use the marker streaks. They, they are not uh, perfectly colored. As you can see, there are slight variations in them. That's why I would just steal the color and then get rid of the line. So I would do something like this. Bam. Whoops. <laughs> steal the color with the eyedropper tool. Then control Z. Control Z. 
Control Z, <laughs> and then color. That's that's what I would do, and then start over again with this. Steal the color, Control Z, and color it in. And it doesn't look like there's a difference, and it really doesn't look like there's a difference. Why is that? <laughs> Why is that? I did something wrong. Yeah, I have no idea why that is what... That's weird. Maybe there is a variation, I just can't see it because I'm blind. Over here it should work fine. Yep. Oh yeah, it is very slight. It's very slight. You guys would be able to tell better if I did the entire picture. But I don't have time to do that. Well, actually I do, but... Do you guys really want me to put this entire picture under? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and uh, yeah, I made the thing underwater now. Well, it doesn't really look underwater. Let me add some bubbles. There, now he's totally underwater. The immersion is real. You can, it's beautiful. It's, it's art. So that is uh that is just a cool little neat trick I found with the uh with the marker tool that you can use. You can make it you can use it to make your art different shades, I guess. Like you can still tell that this used to be orange and this used to be brown and this is like pink. You can still tell even though it's all in tones of blue, which I think is really cool and allows people to do stuff. I don't know. I'm really tired. I had a long day at school. My throat hurts. I am going to go play a video game now. So, this has been Light and Wolf 9. I probably already said this, but I'm going to say it again. Teaching you guys how to use a cool little marker trick thing. Not really a trick. And hopefully you guys learned something, and hopefully I was able to teach you. Yeah. Okay, now I think I'm done. Bye.